Hey guys, welcome to the next vlog. I've just been to work for 10 and a half hours, just got home, changed, and now I'm going to the store, do some gro <laughs> grocery shopping, and pick up a package. It's currently... So, the store closes in 45 minutes, so let's go. Okay, just opened the package from Gimgo System. If you're from Norway, you probably know what it is. But we have Pyrocout Creatine. I haven't taken creatine in like one and a half months. So, starting to take that again. And we got two bottles of Walden's Farm Caramel Syrup. Calorie free. So that's awesome. Okay guys, I'm having a little cheat meal right now. We got some pasta with veggies, we got a slice of chocolate cake, and we got this new ice cream, which just launched in Norway. And it is high in protein and fat free. I mean, just look at these macros. It's a ice cream, 57 calories. What? And no fats, that's sick. Okay, so many of you are maybe wondering why I'm having a cheat meal right now. And that's because summer is approaching and tomorrow I'm starting a mini cut. I'm aiming for four weeks of cutting just to lose some body fat, get ready for summer, get more lean and all that good stuff. So tomorrow I will weigh myself, I will show you what I weigh and uh, I will also explain how many calories I will be consuming, how my training will look like and everything. So don't you worry. <laughs> That's because of, uh, I just got a brain fart. And also I have been lean bulking for a very long time now. I'm currently eating 4,500 calories, which at the moment is very hard for me to eat every day. I'm getting it done, but it's getting a bit stressful. So hopefully by doing a mini cut in four weeks, I'm able to get back my appetite again after the cut. Okay. Um, I was very full after eating the pasta and the uh, cake. So I don't want to eat this just to eat this because I'm very full right now. But I can probably eat this tomorrow, even though we're starting a cut, because this thing has 280 calories and 35 grams of protein, and it's a freaking ice cream. So sick! So, 81.3 kgs is our starting point, and this is how I'm looking right now and this is in the morning I haven't eaten anything yet so I look a bit more lean right now so as I said four weeks it will probably be four to five kgs of weight loss and much of that will be water weight but that's what we're aiming for so because this is a mini cut, we can be a bit more aggressive with the weight loss, so 1 kg a week is perfect. I know we just did a physique update in the last video, but this is the start of our mini cut. I have to show where we start today, so I will go back there and show you what we look like. It's currently the 10th of May, as you can see here. This is how we're looking right now. Shuts the door, 
That's it. That's our starting point. We're looking very lean, but as I said, it's in the morning. I haven't eaten or drank anything. And uh, yeah. So many of you may think that I'm too lean to cut, but again, it's just a mini cut. It's four weeks. I'm not going to lose any strength because it's that short of a time. But just wait until you see how we look after those four weeks. We got the first meal of the day, oatmeal with the caramel syrup from Walden's Farm, 120 grams of banana, and we also got three whole eggs. I'm not that hungry, so I would just chug these ones instead of uh, cooking them. This is an easy way to get to eat your eggs, or drink them. <laughs> Ready? We just take all three in one go. <laughs> 200 calories like that. So, my starting macros, I'll put it on the screen. 3400 calories. And uh, that's very high for a cut, but as you know, I have a high metabolism. So I'm going to try with these macros see how my body feels, what happens, how much weight I will lose and of course in the first week you will lose a lot of water weight so you maybe lose like 2 kgs or something uh, but that's normal and of course if I have to I will make adjustments along the way but for now we're starting with 3400 and see how that goes Okay, this is my first voiceover, so let's do this. And on the screen, you can now see my deadlift session from yesterday. And I was supposed to do 185 kgs for 5 reps, and then a 3x10 with 150 kgs. But the weights felt a lot heavier than it usually does. And as you can see on the screen, my technique breaks down, I'm struggling. And I could only do four reps, not five. And uh, it's actually been like this the entire week. All my lifts have been feeling very heavy and I haven't felt that motivated to go to the gym, which doesn't happen to me. And uh, my sleep has been on point, my nutrition has been on point. So that probably means that I need a dealer week a week where I cut down on the intensity and the volume so that my body can recover and of course my CNS needs a rest. So again, here I'm doing 150 kgs. I was supposed to do 10, but I could only do like eight or something. And last week I did 160 kgs for 10 reps, so I really should get 150. But again, just another sign that I need a deload week which is what I'm doing now. So today is Thursday, so I'm deloading until Sunday. And then I will see how my body feels on Sunday. And if it's still not good enough, I'm gonna keep on deloading until Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday in the next week. So I will have a entire week of deloading. And uh, the way I does that, uh, <laughs> and the way I do that is by uh, increasing the working sets, decreasing the working sets on my main lifts and uh, so I do 50% of my one rep max for three sets of five. So on my uh, deadlifts, instead of do, my one rep max is 210 kgs, then I will do five reps of 105 kgs just to keep the motor pathways uh, in check. And then after I failed miserably on the other sets with sumo, I was so mad and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do conventional. And yeah, that felt uh, very heavy too. So this is just my body letting me know that I need to take a rest. And I'm going to listen to it and do exactly that. It sucks, I hate the loads, but I will feel much better when I'm done. So, yeah. Here you can see the last rep. 
You just saw me. <laughs> you just saw a clip from the gym where I did five reps of 80 kgs on the squats, uh, and it was a deload session, so pretty boring. Five reps for 80 kgs, nothing much. But I wanted to feel more. But at the same time, it's a deload session, so what's the point? There's not any challenging weights. It's just. A chill workout and there was a dude deadlifting behind me. I, I just wanted to shout, I'm deloading, okay? I'm not doing these lightweights normally, just chill, it's a deload week, okay? So it was a bit difficult to feel, I was like, can I, can I film uh, my set? And just filming a set with 80 kg of fire reps, he was probably like, what the fuck is that? This max. So yeah, sorry that I only filmed that one set. But anyways, we are on our way home. I'm starving, need some food. So, and it's raining a, a little bit right now. So. Oh, and look at this uh, nice scenery right here. Hey. I'm gonna show you how to take creatine the right way. You don't need to mix it with water, add it to hot coffee or hot tea, you just take a cute little spoon and then mm. There you go, that's how you take your creatine Okay, I'm trying to take these two for a walk, but they really don't want to. Nico, come on! Come! We should go to the tree. Okay, we go home now. Good. We're going home. Go, 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 go! Hello guys, just returned from that walk with the dogs. So right now I'm eating 150 grams of rice, two turkey sausages. I wanted to do chicken, but I don't have enough protein for that. So these have more fat and less protein, which fits my macros better. And we got some broccoli. And uh, the reason why you haven't seen me eat that much vegetables on this channel before is because is because after I finished my uh, previous cut, after that when I ate uh, vegetables it just irritated my stomach so much. So that's why I'm having a small amount now just to try it out, see if my stomach can handle it and uh, yeah, take it from there. So while I'm eating this I'm gonna enjoy some Gooseman just uh, released a new video so that uh, that's perfect and i have something to watch while i eat so <clears throat> see you in the next clip <sighs> hello and <laughs> what the fuck what was i trying to say anyways last meal of the day we got the ice cream with 35 grams of protein and we also have Two slices of bread with some chocolate spread and this uh, biscuit thing. Oh, yeah, first half cutting. Very nice to eat some less calories, not 4,500, so that's perfect. Okay, 34 grams 
of protein in this and zero grams of fat. How? How can this taste so good when it has that good macros? That, that, what? What's in this? This? Uh, what? Uh, it's so good. <laughs> zero grams of fat. What the fuck? <laughs> shouldn't be allowed. This shouldn't be legal, man. Oh, I need to try the salted caramel. They didn't, um, they were sold out when I was at the store. God damn. Well, now I'm gonna end the video. Uh, what was I going to say? And guys, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I will be posting updates on the Minicat all the time. I will do some Instagram stories that you know when I post. So be sure to follow me on Instagram as you see on the screen. And of course, as always, if you want to support me and enjoy the content and want to see more content, the subscribe button is down below. So please click it. And if you enjoyed, give the video a like, comment down below what you think. And with that said, see you in the next video. I'm not so afraid to let go uh, You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide if you ever try to